everyone today I'm going to be doing a bronzy kind of summery smoky date night look which I think would be perfect for the summer months that are right upon us and I'm using my Urban Decay Naked palette um, because it has some really pretty kind of neutral shadows in there and they have some really pretty bronzy ones that I thought were perfect for this look and yeah it's just kind of like a bronze colored eye and just kind of corals and gold and I think it's just really pretty for summer and yes I hope you guys enjoy it and let's go ahead and get started first thing I'm gonna do is prime my lids with Urban Decay Primer Potion just kinda help the shadow stick a little bit better and last a lot longer and all over the lid and up to the brow I'm just gonna go ahead and point out all the shadows I'm going to be using so I don't have to keep going back to the palette um, it's a little bit harder to do that so I'm just gonna go ahead and point them out the first one I'm using is half-baked is right here and then I'm using smog and dark horse which is right here and then I'm also going to be using the color virgin as a highlight Next, I'm gonna take my e60 shader brush from Sigma and get half-baked which is kind of a gold color it's really pretty and it's really pigmented so kind of use it sparingly and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. Next, I'm going to take in my E25 blending brush from Sigma, and it's just kind of like a crease brush. And I'm going to use the color Smog, which is kind of a really pretty bronzy color. And I'm going to use this in my crease. So I'm going to start in this outer corner and then kind of press in and into my crease and kind of bring it back and forth kind of like windshield wiper motion across my eye. Next I'm using my E30 pencil brush and the color um, Dark Horse and I'm going to use that as the outer corner color. It's kind of like a brown black. And I'm going to start in the outer corner and kind of do a third of the way in into my crease and then I'm going to mimic that on to my lash line a third of the way in. And it kind of makes like a V or kind of a crescent shape on the outside of your eye. Like so. Next, I'm going to wipe this brush off on like a paper towel. And then I'm going to go in with the color Virgin, that um, really light highlight color. And I'm going to get a little bit on the tip of my brush and apply this right in the inner corner to help brighten it up. And then I'm going to take the color Smog, which is the bronze, get a little bit of that and kind of work that from where that light color is about halfway in on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the color Dark Horse, the one we use in the outer corner, and then do the outer third of the lower lash line and kind of match it to the top. Like that. Next I'm taking my E55 shader brush and um, Virgin, the highlight color, and I'm just going to use this right underneath my brows as a highlight. Then I'm also going to get some on the tip of my brush and kind of use this to fix up the outer corner. Um, just make it a little bit... Um, just make it a little bit less messy. Alright, now I'm taking my E40 blending brush and this is just a big fluffy brush with no color on it and I'm going to use this to blend all of the colors together. And I don't want to blend it too much because then it becomes all one color. I still want to be able to s tell the difference between all the colors, but I just want them blended a little bit better. Like that. All right, so that's it for shadows. Now we're going to move on to liner. And to line my eyes, I'm just using a black liner and I'm using L'Oreal's Carbon Black Liner Intense Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner. Alright, for my waterline, I'm just going to use a black liner, but if you want, you could do this. I've tried this um, with a bronze colored eyeshadow. This is Lorded Up Pearl Glide Intense Eyeliner from MAC, and it's just a pretty bronze kind of color, and this looks really, really pretty with it as well, but since it's more of kind of like a darker look, I kind of wanted to go with the black just to make it a little bit more defined, and I'm using Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Zero which is just the black one. All 
Alright, for mascara, I'm going to be using a really cool mascara that I love, and it's L'Oreal's Double Extend Eye Illuminator Mascara. It looks like this. And on one side, it's just the regular black mascara. On the other side, there's like a metallic kind of mascara that has like little glitters in it that um, kind of make your eyes pop a little bit better, and I really, really like it. Um... So first thing you do is you apply the black mascara, and these are all the kind of illuminating part of it. They're different colors suited to what um, would make your eyes look best. So I have kind of green hazily eyes, so I got the bronze one, but they have one for blue eyes and one for brown eyes and stuff. So you can find which one would work best for you. So I'm just going to first use the black, and then after I apply the black, I'm going to go ahead and apply the little glittery side. Make sure if you do use this, don't use too much glitter because you can kind of see it like through your eyes. And it's, it's kind of annoying if you have a ton of glitter because you're just constantly seeing like little things, like little glittery things in your vision. So um, use it kind of sparingly. And I don't know if the camera's really going to pick it up, how pretty it is. Um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So you never know. Um, you can apply some of mascara to your lower lash line as well. Um, I don't because I, I tend to not like the way that it looks on me, but you can kind of do whatever you think looks best for you. For blush, I kind of want to do like a really nice coral blush because I think that's kind of summery. I always think, I always like associate coral with summer. So I'm going to be using NARS um, blush in the color Orgasm, and it's just this really pretty coral pink blush. It's so gorgeous. It has all some shimmer in it. And I'm applying it with my F40 brush from Sigma. Just get some on my brush and apply it. It's so, so pretty. And then I'm going to take my F30 powder brush and kind of blend it. For lips, I kind of want to keep it pretty neutral, but you can kind of do something funky like a really pretty coral lip if you want to, but um, I'm going to keep it pretty neutral. So first I'm going to use Max Hue Lipstick, which is just a really pretty pale pink. Then I'm going to blend it out with my finger. lip gloss I'm going to use this really really pretty lip gloss it's um, max um, luster glass in the color love nectar and it's kind of like a bronzy apricot color and it has gold shimmer in it which I thought was totally perfect for this kind of bronzy look it's so so pretty it's become my new favorite lip gloss Alright, that's it for this kind of bronzy summer date night look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and use it, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.